today we're part we're here to see part of a research program that that we started just earlier this week. Um, we have been collecting data for for more of a year, more than a year, on what's what happened here at, at Mount Baldy. Um, we brought all of our tools and equipment up here on Monday, and we're starting to to take apart the dune and start to understand uh, what we would often say would be the internal structure of that dune. So we have two aspects of the research that we're doing here today, one of which is to try to image and, and, and collect samples on the inside of the dune um, and so that we can know what it looks like underneath the, the ground surface. And then another aspect that Aaron's been following up with is looking specifically at individual locations where, where, uh, where these holes or collapse features have been occurring on, on the dune. And, um, and so we're combining both of those, those research programs together. So what we, we would like to do in the dune is to try to understand what it looks like in the inside of it. And typical as geologists, we're observational sciences, scientists, we make observations of the dune. We've already done that. We've, we've got data associated with the topography of the dune. We have data that we've collected with the uh, soils that have been exposed, tree stumps and other things that occur along the, the surface of the dune. And we've also collected information on where some of the holes have opened up. And uh, to try to understand the inside of the dune, we're doing two different things. Um, we're following up uh, a technique that the EPA used uh, last year. Uh, in the fall of last year, they showed that ground penetrating radar works very well for imaging the internal architecture of the dune. And so we have been, we have been using two ground penetrating radar systems. They're both sitting out here on the dune. They're cart based. Um, the one that's closest to us, the larger of them, is a, is, a, um, is a 100 megahertz system. So essentially it's putting a radio signal of 100, mega, 100 megahertz into the ground and then that reflects off surfaces and comes back up to us and we record that, those data. Um, the other cart over there is a 250 megahertz cart. It will, re, it will record things at a higher resolution but it won't go to the same depth. So we're using two different cart systems, one that can get us to completely through the entire dune into what was here below it, and uh, the other system that can tell us some details of, about the inside of it. On top of that, then, those are just images. So this would be somewhat similar to you getting a, a CAT scan done of, of your brain. Um, and if you see something in there, now you need to try to get a sample of it. So you go in and take a biopsy. And in our case, what we're using is a, a geoprobe system. There's a gentleman out there with a, with a rig right now, um, and he's pushing cores into the ground. So he's pushing a cylinder into the ground, and that cylinder uh, collects sediment in it, and we bring it back up to the surface. So the traces and other things that we see on the images that we're collecting with the ground penetrating radar, we can do what we say ground truth it, we can see what it actually is. So if we're getting a reflection off of a certain surface, we can determine is that a change in grain size, is that a soil surface or something that was under, underneath the, the inside of the dune. Right now, one of the ideas that we have out there is there could be a connection to trees that have been buried underneath the dune as Mount Baldy has migrated southward. So that's sort of the direction that I've been working is looking to find any evidence of buried decaying trees and to look at the possibility of why there would be uh, decay of these trees, how rapidly that would happen, where they're located. So that's, that's one of the ideas, but we're not excluding any other possibilities. The big goal of this operation that you see out here today is to really understand, as Todd said, the internal architecture and understand what the anomalies might be that the EPA had seen before. Well, I think it would be premature to talk about the risks at other dunes. We really have to understand what is going on here. Um, what we do know about this dune is that it is a rapidly migrating dune and that it's migrating over a previously vegetated landscape. Now, there's a lot of stuff that was happening on that landscape. I think we decided there have been people active in this area for over 150 years. So we have small trails. There had been um, buildings. So what we do should do is sort of understand what is happening here and then we can look at similar systems where maybe a dune has been reactivated by disturbance and is migrating over a previously vegetated landscape.